to hear the shakes. Look at this. This is awesome. Oh, 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 this thing doesn't even stand a chance. Oh, Joey Slam. What up, Slayers? We're back at it with another Slay Adventure. Today, we're at the Fish's Paradise. That's right, around entrance, around the other side. All right, let's see what there is to see. Tropical fish. All right, Slayers, so we're here. And we're here at the Fish's Paradise. And what's really cool is they have a lot of tanks. Look at this. They're all color coordinated. And what's cool is each little spot, different type of substrate to make it nice and pretty all day long. So with me and Ollie, here's my boy. What we're doing today is just doing a tour. I haven't done a tour in a long, long time. I mean, a very long time. So. Here we go. We're checking it out. We got some panda cats. We got some flame garamis. We got some flamentosa barbs. We also have some cobalt garamis as well. We have other types of cori cats and garamis. We have everything here. I mean, gold, pearl garamis, everything you possibly need in regards to the smaller tropical type of stuff. They have everything. What are you looking down there, bro? Check this out. What? What you got? Oh my God. So guys, these are these quarantine tanks where they do quarantine their fish. And they have a silver arowana, which they're also selling. And that boy looking a little droppy there, kiddo. Are you okay? You're looking like, oh my God, that eye. Oh my. What happened? He probably had something happen to that eye and he has a big old bubble. And he looks like Popeye almost. Yeah. You know, it's pretty crazy. Yeah. So that's going to be a no for me, dog, in regards to this guy. But nonetheless, he is for sale if you guys want to come over here. I support all my local businesses and I support your dude child. But anyways, guys, I have there's a whole bunch of goldfish here. XL Tiger Oscars, look at him. How you doing, kiddo? You're doing good? Good. For all the tropical community fish keepers and stuff like so, you got the pink kissing garamis, you got some rosy reds to feed your stuff. Look at that. Female betas, you beta lovers out here, guys. You can go ahead and get yourself some female betas for potential breeding. I know my boys, Barb's Buzzin', likes to breed a whole bunch of their betas together. And they have everything here. It's awesome. Little floating decorations from them to hide. This is so cool. It's just a little sorority right here. As you can see here, these fish are fed well. Look at them. They come all the way up and they're very attentive when it comes to food. They think they're about to eat right now. That's when you can really tell that this place takes care of their fish prior to selling them to you. Look at these molly. Look at that. Dude, they get fed every day, water changes every day, and they're looking great. Everything's looking impeccable. Assorted guppies. I might have to go ahead and tell Wild World of Farley about these assorted guppies, because look at that. And I don't know if you guys can hear, but there's a whole bunch of sponge filters in here, and just like blah, 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 bubbles and everything like that. So I apologize for the bubbles, but check that out, guys. Assorted guppies. Usually the colorful ones are males because they just like to assert their dominance that way and be very pretty so that they can breed with the females, which are very plain Jane's bags over the head type of deal. So we're moving on here and we have more fancy guppies here, beautiful white ones, nice angel fishes. Look at that oh, platinum, platinum angel fish and they're stuffed, stuffed. They're pregnant angel fishes. Wow, pregnant angels right here, guys. This is crazy. He's platinum, completely platinum. Look at that eye, he got spooked. But look at that right there. You see that what I'm talking about there, guys? Let's take a moment with that lens. Look at that. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about there. If you go ahead and look, there's a there's a whole enclosure for, for a volcano. Look at that volcano, guys. You can't get that anywhere. So moving forward, guys, if you're not into the angels, if you're not into the mollies and the liar tails as well, if you're not into more angels, again, you have your fancy guppies. Then you also have, again, more mollies, platies as well. Then you have your goldfishes. Then you have your predatory fishes here. It's a mixture of what's available. And if you are pond keepers and you like to keep it a nice koi type of pond, you got those. You got your little fan tails that you can go ahead and feed to your blob catfish. XL Aranda's too with a good price. So there's a lot of options out here, right, Ali? There's a whole bin. There's tons. I mean tons. And if their lights are off, they're usually treating them. And these guys are going to die. You're going to die. Guys, check this out. This looks like some sort of Midas or something. It's called the Hold for Joseph. Oh. <laughs> I mean, oh, someone's buying this. That's what that means. Okay, that, that's cool. That's cool. I don't want to buy you anyway. Again, guys, look at this. This is a purple rose queen. So I believe this is a mix between a Quesal cichlid and a Midas cichlid. You get that purple rose color, which looks insane. Then moving forward, we also have some Oscars here. And for these African cichlid lovers, guys, you have solid African cichlids. Now, what's really interesting is they don't actually have a lot of cover here, but... You either have them a lot of cover or you stuff the tanks so they can never really pinpoint who to harass and bully. There's some good colors here. What you got back there? 
Look at that, another baby purple rose queen. But look at that purple rose queen, guys. This is a little guy here. He looks good. A little shy. No worries, buddy. We'll come look at you later. Now, for those who don't have the bigger African cichlids and everything like that, you have the albino tigers. Oh, look, albino paku here. Not bad. All sold. Picking up Friday. Darn. Really wanted some albino paku. I can't lie. But we have albino tiger Oscars as well as we also have more cichlids. If your cichlids are not that big and you want to add some, you usually got to add them about the same size. And there you go. There are your African cichlids just right there. You have everything like that. Moving on forward, more peacock cichlids. Then we have silver doll hairs. We have a flower horn there. Are you are you personable? Hey, hey, look at that. You're personable. You can't really see the colors, but you're not looking so bad. Then you have some chocolate cichlid, which is kind of weird. A chocolate cichlid. Pick this catfish and some red hooks. Nothing new, nothing special in here. Moving forward, what, what you got here? Oh my gosh, guys. These are massive red craws, massive red lobsters here. So you know what, comment below if we should go ahead and purchase the entire four amigos here or amigas for the crayfish. We should, we should either try to breed them. I know someone who has a couple red crayfish that would love one to potentially breed. So we might do that or I should just grab them all. I'm not too sure. Or we can feed the mighty Tyson. What do you think about that, Ollie? Sounds like a battle that we might have to go ahead and endure, but we'll see guys. Comment below what you think, and we might do that. We got a little nice something here, Mr. Peacock Bass over here kind of hiding and stuff like that. What you got going on there? Can you just stay with us? We're trying to walk all the way through and see everything. This guy has a Peacock Bass. This guy <laughs> does not look so happy, unfortunately. Oh, cheer up, little man. You're going to be okay. What we got going on here? Check out the size of these arowanas. These are fried. They just pretty much dropped you can see straight the them. egg sack, pretty much. That yolk sack that they suck. Cute. Look at them. Baby silver arowanas, 25. Really hard to raise at this age, but these are pretty much just hatched. Really just hatched. And there's a little, little tiger showing news. Catfish, hello, baby. There's a lot of stuff going on here, like I've been saying, guys, and it looks great. Look at these guys right here. These are regular crayfish in comparison to the, some of the red lobsters that we have here. So... Moving on forward, um, we have other stuff here. We have a lot of communities, frontosas and stuff, so on and so forth, guys. Little Jack Dempsey's, look at the little electric blues and some regular ones. Look at those colors, that's an electric blue for sure. Look at that. Wow, it lit up when we came up. You guys wanna come? Look at that. That's an insane little guy. So there's a lot of stuff, mind you, there's also a saltwater section here and I might be getting in contact with them to see what we can do, what we can, what was that? What is this? He almost bit my finger off. Is this a panther? Are you friendly, brother? This thing's crazy. Have you fed this guy, sir? Hello, sir, sir. Have you, you haven't fed him today? Can we feed him today? Oh, he's bringing something to feed him? <laughs> Look at your face, you're like, oh, maybe. Let's see what we can do, see what can happen. Look at that. Ho, ho, ho. This panther is pretty epic. Oh, he'll clap my hand. 1,000%. Yep, no dice. This is best friend. Oh, that's cool. Is, it, is this dog face? I don't know. Comment below what kind of puffer this is. I think it's dog face puffer, I think. Looks like a dog face. Maybe. Hmm. Let me know what you think. This guy. Lionfish. And <laughs> who wants to come around? <laughs> this guy is so personable. How freaking cool. So we're gonna go ahead and feed this guy. I think he's gonna be picking up some um, some food or something for us. I'm excited about that. But moving on, they do have a saltwater. You have stuff. Oh my god! Oh, oh, oh! This thing doesn't even stand a chance. Oh, this guy is insane. He is epic. Sushi, dude, drop in there. He's gonna eat more. Oh my god! That is so cool. Oh, and even the dog face chum chum. Oh, I love puffer fish. That's cool, man. Thanks. Appreciate that. This is so sick. That was amazing to watch that. He still wants to eat. Oh my God, that's wild. I wonder what kind of pump they have. The flow in here is insane. So this is their predatory saltwater tank. I kind of want one. Comment below if we should go ahead and get one for the sleigh pad. We might have Ollie build it for us and just watch and just laugh at him as he fails and stuff. But we also have a community. Here's a beautiful community and that's the cool thing about saltwater. You can have communities and you can have predators just like in freshwater and they're all so personal but they're definitely a lot of different colors which is super cool. It's a potty. This play is like super popping and everything like that. You know what I'm saying? 
So we have these, look at this, wow. These gobies are so pretty, so cool. Look at this guy, it's just as white as the sand. That's why I love the saltwater game, it's so amazing. They have horseshoe crabs? Yeah, tiny, they're small tiny, ones. Tiny. <laughs> so weird, but they are quite adorable. I've never seen them before. I don't know what I would use them for, but they're pretty cool. Maybe for the community, who knows? I won't have I won't have Tyson attack this. He will absolutely demolish it, obviously. I won't even stand a chance, but check that out. Dude, this is so freaking cool. So guys, now we're looking at, if this can focus, now we're looking at everything here. And that's a saltwater molly. That's pretty cool. They're usually freshwater and the clowns and everything. And if you want to have a good saltwater selection, come pick them up. They have these separate little tanks. Look at this puffer. He's puffing right now. I love these things. Love me. They don't love me. Okay, fine. Don't love me. Oh my God. He's blowing up. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is so cool. This a little guy. Hold on, let me put on the flash. He does not look so happy. He looks really grumpy. <laughs> That's so cool. How long have you had this guy? A week. Yeah, they just expel the guy. Oh yeah, he's already shrinking. Yep. That's so cool. You used to have that big one that used to be over here, right? Yeah. That's awesome. He's and you saw that. Home. Yeah? Yeah. Sweet. So guys, comment below what we should go ahead and buy. We might still be here. Like I was saying, guys, look at this. Look at the size of That's these great fish. It's literally, we might be able to eat this thing for real, you know what I'm saying? But I'm thinking about purchasing these guys right here. You know what, before we end this episode, let's go ahead and feed that predatory tank that I have in the front. Look at that. That one looks nice. He's a short body, right? Mm -hmm. yep. It looks good. It looks real good. Mine's doing good too. It comes up, no, maybe? I don't want to go all the way down there. My hand was just in salt water, so I'm going to do that. Look at that. The colors are good too. Yeah, we put an almond leaf in there. It's good for them. Really? Yeah. That's interesting. I never heard that before. Almond leaf, you said. Wow. Oh, you have red tails here, too. You have purple rose queens. You have nice little arowanas. Those are those. Red base, no? You have red base? Red base. Oh, it's nice. nice. That is a pretty red bay. He's really into it. Look at that. He's flared nice. up. That's a nice one. You guys always have the red base here. That's what I like about here. You have little turtles and stuff. But what I like most about the Fish's Paradise right now is this monster tank with this arowana. The draft knows. Oh, they know what's going on. They hear the shakes. Look at this. This is awesome. Oh, they're already clapping the surface and they know what's going on. Is that an old pellet? No. Oh, here you go. You have a mixture of pellets in there? Yeah, sinking and floating. Nice. Wow, this arowana is insane. He's huge. He's full grown, giant gourami. I love the giraffe nose. You've had them for years, haven't you? Yeah, he's old. He's old, that's so cool. You have the iridescent sharks you've had for a while. And now you have a green turn in the back? Yeah, we got a pike. Oh, yeah. Look at that thing go. Whoa, whoa, sweet. And the new addition of here are the parrots. They're hiding over there in the rocks. You have parrots? Oh, the big, the big parrots yeah. in the back we'll, right here? Yeah, we put them in one day. Oh yeah, they're kind of spooked because everyone's so big. This garami is like just eating right in front of us. Look at that. That's pretty cool. How neat. I like this, man. This, this is what I like about this place, this huge thing. This is my favorite guy right here. Look at that. Vacuum. Isn't he, what's his name again? Hoover? Yeah, Hoover. <laughs> Literally a vacuum. I want one. My buddy has one and it's growing up pretty well. But they're just really hard to find. You got, can you guys get them? Or? You can get them. You can get them? Yep. Oh, man. We might have to do a little special order from like a little baby and then raise them up. I mean, you can only get them like small or big? Small. Small? Sweet. Not bad. Sweet, sweet, sweet. This is awesome. But Slayers, that's going to go ahead and wrap it up for today. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment below. But well, we should go ahead and get those red crayfish, right? I think right. so. And I'll see you guys on the next adventure. Oh, yeah.